Hello everyone and welcome to RNG University. On tonight's episode, the Greedy Falcon. So, uh, this was a deck that was kind of hyped up back in, during spoiler season when Greedy Gambit was first spoiled in the big score uh, set. And I think it's a very fun deck, right? The idea is that it's the old donate combo where we get something that give us immediate value but then has a uh, negative side effect when it leaves uh, but instead of us taking that negative side effect we'll donate it to our opponent and then they're gonna take that side effect and then cry about it so that's the idea of this deck so of course the combo is cover the falcon with greedy gambit but if you just have that combo it's very hard to trigger off especially against aggro so what I've thought of in this deck to help for that or to help go with that is we're gonna have hope for hopeless nightmare to make our opponent discard it doesn't have a lot of value when it leaves and uh actually i've never had seen this interaction works so i don't know how it works when it says hopeless nightmare put into a graveyard from the battlefield scry 2 so uh when our opponent sacks our hopeless nightmare do we scry 2 or do they scry 2 i don't know i've never seen that happen but uh for one mana we get to make him discard and then we can give it to our opponent and we draw a card for with the coveted falcon that's not that bad and if our coveted falcon needs to attack we can take it back so it's also pretty fun we can also give them temporary lockdown the first idea i had was to give them ossification but because it will be a three mana deck uh, ossification is a little bit harder to trigger temporary lockdown is not hard so we're gonna use temporary lockdown to lock down all those aggro decks and then give them the temporary lockdown what are they gonna do kill their own temporary lockdown and they were gonna kill mine anyways right so uh, that's gonna give us another free card so there are 12 cards in this deck we want to give our opponent and sometimes we can even give them a land if the coveted falcon can already attack so we'll give them a land usually tapped attack with the falcon get it back and boom uh, we already have uh, an extra card draw because of that so yeah this deck is pretty fun in that kind of synergy the rest of the deck is helping us do that by stalling by you know just um, removing or countering our opponent's play until we can do exactly that so in the early game uh, again let's not look at our three drops here uh, in the early game we're gonna have two cut down four hopeless nightmare and two march so this can help us get a lot of our opponents early game boards out of the way you know hand or uh on board right and the thing about march is we can actually exile temporary lockdown to cast march because we don't care as much about the temporary lockdown eventually they're supposed to be card draws but in the early game if we need to remove something we can do that with the march that's totally okay and then in the two drop we have four go for the throw i didn't want to get too cute here with long goodbyes and uh was that other one the uh, the one that kills a planeswalker uh bitter triumph i would i don't want to go anywhere near those cards because this deck's already tricky enough as it is so all i have is four go for the throw and two get lost if they're enchantments or planeswalkers we'll use get lost right and then in a three drop of course three steps ahead for a counter spell for a card draw or maybe copy a creature if we want for four mana but we're not really copying creatures in this deck uh we have four temporary lockdown as i said to, for removal against aggro and then four cover the falcons to, for the cover the falcon deck right for the theme of the deck and then for the four drop greedy gambits now a lot of times what you want to do is not play your cover the falcon on turn three if you have three lands uh, and cover the falcon you're in pretty good uh, position but don't play it uh what you want to do is on turn four when you have four lands even if you don't have a land in your hand that's fine play greed gambit when you play greed's gambit you draw three cards chances are you'll draw your fourth land or draw, draw your fifth land so on turn five you can falcon and then flip it right away uh unless your opponent has counter spells they can't stop this All right so even if they kill it in response you already flipped it the uh, ability is on the stack so what's gonna happen is you can grease gambit so that uh you draw three cards gain six life and get three bats you have a sack of, you got a sack of bats lose two life and lose a card but that's fine that just means you draw for four mana you draw two cards you got two bats and you gain four life that's still okay and then on the turn after that for five mana play the falcon and give give the greens big to your opponent uh i do a lot of that in my game so you'll see exactly how that works but then we also have alcatraz uh the alcalazads to uh deal four or have a four four lifelink right so gain four life is very important with this deck so uh, because we need to stall a little bit longer it may look like grease gambit gains a lot of life but you also lose a lot of life uh just for the end turn effect so if you cannot play the falcon the very next turn it does hurt a bit so remember that and then you need to have Al uh, aklazaz on board to gain some life if you can and of course virtue a two drop that's also a seven drop it's technically a two drop right so we don't have any big plays it's also a seven drop if you are flooded or you get mana later stages 
and this is something to keep bringing cards back. You can see that in our deck, we actually have nothing to bring back. We bring back Covenant Falcon, that's about it, right? You don't really need to bring back Alcatraz because uh, it's already in the graveyard, or it's already a land, it's not, not in the graveyard. So, uh, yeah, the virtue is not really there for any importance other than just the minus three, minus three, two life. It does help, but it's uh, not a necessity. I think if you don't have this, you don't have to go craft it. You can just run two more get lost or something, and it, it will work in most scenarios. Then in a land base, pretty controlly deck, 26 lands. Right? For, for sure, you need to have your proper land draws with the Greed's Gambit, and you need to have five lands on turn five for this combo to really work. So don't miss land drops, have 26 lands. One Agonjo, one Plane, one Ottawara, one Island, one Takanuma, one Swamp, and then four Deserted Beach, two Restless Anchorage, uh, these are necessary uh, because I need a lot of, uh, or rather I don't have uh, the fast lands. I just have the slow lands for blue-white and then two man lands if we need the man lands. Then for the other lands, I have two Concealed Courtyard, two Shattered Sanctum, two Dark Slick Shores, and two Shipwreck Marsh. Two of each of the slow and fast lands for the other color combo. And then we have four Rafine Tower and uh, one Demolition Field in case we need to kill a man land and one Murex in case we need to fight against a control deck. So that is a pretty standard uh, Esper color shell, but the Rafine Tower really helps because we need to have our proper mana color, so our mana fixing. So uh, a lot of black uh, mana and a lot of white mana, not a lot of blue mana. So you don't need as much blue mana in this deck, but I did want to run more Deserted Beach as a slower land because what I thought about was uh, the three steps ahead requires two blue. So uh, that is something to, tricky to kind of play around or keep track of. Now, you can definitely cut to Desert Beach and just have one more Concealed Courtyard and one more Dark Slick Shores to have an early, uh, earlier game play if you want to do that. It's also acceptable. I, I think, you know, you can definitely play around with the mana base a little bit more. I did not perfect the mana base, but I think this deck is kind of lean and you cannot really cut or remove anything for the combo to work. Now, talk a lot about the deck because I really had fun playing it. Let's go to the games. Okay, our opponent's gonna be the cool... That's too many consonants. Kuivir? Kuivir? I don't know. We get to go first. No black mana for Nightmare until turn two, but. We'll live with it. Say hi. We'll drop our. It's kind of laggy today. We'll drop our land. We're gonna play some mountain cards. And then we'll see what happens there. Not a mountain card. Alright. So, land's deck. It's an island. We will get make their nightmares hopeless. All right, discards the rage. Falaji. Wow. it's <laughs> a lot of rage to just toss in the graveyard there. Uh, he can't really cast the rage, right? Alright, let's disguise. Archaeologist knows four. Or actually, Mills, Mills 3? Mills 3. Kills one of his own lands, probably for a mountain, so they can use the World Soul Rage. Alright, I do get a land, so I do want to kill the Archaeologist, right? I think that's definitely part of it. Um. But I also want to attack. This way I can draw two cards. Add a blue. We'll turn this face up. You can have my Ottawara and my Hopeless Nightmare. You can have these two. Alright, I draw two cards. Now I attack. Let me get back my land. Thank you. And then we will go for your aftermath analyst throw.
They're gonna kill my coveted falcon. They can gain two life. Or just explosion. The falcon's not that good of a car. I already got the value, so. I don't know if that's right, but uh, I will let him do it. I don't want to drop three cards. Wow, he's discarding his World Souls Rage. That's so many Rage gone. Alright, well, this can give me some card draw. And then I'll have to discard a card and sack the creature, right? But it's fine. I don't miss a land drop. That's important. Discard another card. We can discard our lockdown. I don't know if the lockdown is going to hit anything. I don't have a falcon though. That's a little bit scary. Because uh, I think the Grease Gambit is going to get me if I don't get something soon. Alright, gets the Analyst. Probably plays it again. I don't know. I don't know he would play the Analyst unless he can sack it, right? That, that would be a bad play. Alright, double Analyst. Plays an Analyst to mill three. He's milling a lot into his graveyard. Oh, I get a Falcon. Okay. Can I wait for another turn here? I had to discard another card. But I think I can. Uh, will he have anything to kill my Falcon? It would be really scary if he does. So I guess we'll go for the throw. This Analyst. And... Now, he can definitely play the last Analyst. Okay, nah, that's fine. I have a Counterspell up. Gotta discard another card. So, it's probably the March. Cost too much. Let's add this. Pass a turn to him. Now, he probably wants to play the Analyst and do the thing, right? Let's stop him from doing that. Now he has four mana. What can he do? Ooh, cool, cool veer, cool, cool, cool veer. I, I'm not French. What do you have now? Ooh, an apple. That's cool. World Souls Rage for two. All right, you get two mana. Good luck. Cause um, you're gonna need to use those two mana wisely. Oh yeah. That's the last of his World Souls Rage, right? I think that's all four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Well, let me show you how this deck works. Face up. You can have this and this. Uh, I want to give him a, a little 2-1. I can't attack this turn, so maybe I just draw only two cards. Play your Virtue. Or you can play your uh, Memory Deluge. You gotta play something, and you have to discard a card. So I don't think they're gonna play the Memory Deluge. Maybe they'll try to get rid of the Gambit. Aha! Now they're roping. They're gonna play their Virtue. You gotta pay another mana for Virtue. If they just play the Memory Deluge, I'm okay with that. That's six. You need to pay one more for either of those cards. There's the seven. 
Uh, can't play Virtue, can only play Memory Deluge, right? Uh uh, uh, where's that going? Yeah, there you go. There's the Virtue. Okay, so he played a Virtue thinking that I couldn't do anything to him, but he's wrong. So I can do this. Get back my hopeless nightmare here. Down to eight. I have a counter spell. Oh, good luck. I'll let him play a second virtue if he wants. You got it. He's got one card to play with two mana. Oh, it's just a land. GG. We got we we got we got the greedy gambit to work. Alright, our opponent's gonna be the 5P4 RK4. It looks like it's a spark, but it, then the, with the last four it looks like it's a spark up. Alright, uh opponent goes first. Sure. Okay. We'll say hi and then Drop a nightmare on them. All right, since they're a Golgari, I gotta be a little bit careful with my Falcon, not just throw it out there. But I could temp uh, definitely temporarily lock down a lot of their cards, so not as worried. Uh, that. What are you gonna take? One of my temporary lockdown, maybe they have two. Not gonna drop the Dark Sick Shores yet, even though it is an untapped land. Alright, well, I guess I have to do this. A little bit behind right now, but I definitely can't let him draw with a preacher. So. Kill it with fire. Sentinel. Don't care as much about Sentinel. I'll probably use it. Yep. Frail back, huh? Well, it's a little bit tricky because those are not going to get hit by the temporary lockdown at all. So, kind of a dead card right here. I'll just take the damage. I definitely want to use the Hopeless Nightmare for something. I don't know if they have Exile abilities. They have the Bats, but... Are they going to play another Bats? I think they want to use the uh, map. All on the Sentinel. That's funny. Another bat. Alright, let's try to get an untapped land if possible. They're both good cards. Now, what am I going to do next turn with... Do I just take the damage from the Sentinel? Actually, I don't take the damage from the Sentinel. And we'll also... Eh, eh, come on. Let me cut this guy down. Give me back my lockdown. Thank you. And now... Back guard. They know this was coming. They can play the bat, but the bat's not gonna do anything, right? He attacks me. Back guard attacks. Or bat, back guard blocks. Back guard doesn't block. They gotta get rid of my back guard. I mean, he already knows what I have, so they're not really good cards. Whatever he takes does not bother me because I have two temporary lockdowns. And the lockdowns are great because they're technically cards for the Coveted Falcon later on in the game if I have nothing else to do. 
He's gonna use his uh, map on a sentinel again. Mm. Let's make him the scarf first, right? He's got his scarf card. Does he block? He doesn't block. Alright, then we'll go for the throw of his sentinel. It's getting too big. It's getting too big for my bridges. And then... Huh, I don't have enough white in. Why did it tap my white? What the heck? They wanted to leave up the falcon, I guess. Now, I could put out the falcon. Uh, but... Is there a reason to? I don't think so. Draw a card, lose one life. Will he play it? Oh, just keep on making your mistakes. Uh, this is good for me because what I wanted to do was lock down this turn anyways. Scar a car. You definitely don't want to discard a land. It's going to give me a bird. Uh, also, I don't think he wants to discard a land because he's kind of short on land anyways. Discards his bad god. Great. Oh, this is the card I was already seeing. Locks down his Mosswood Dread Knight. He probably has something against the lockdown, right? No? That's interesting. Scar another card. Oh, he's kind of, you know, um, screwed up mana, so... That's probably why he's not doing much. Go for the throw. Alright, he's got one car left. Second back up. Five lands. Does he have a back god of his own? He just discard one, right? I have a march, so he can't do anything about it. Nisa! To kill the temporary lockdown problem, but it's not gonna help. What are you gonna take? Maybe we'll just explode here. Spark up. He already knows two of these cards. Now that he can see March, I'm not sure what his plan would be. If he takes a temporary lockdown. Yeah, okay. So if he takes a temporary lockdown, I think I will march the bat? Well, I draw a car, right? But then I can't kill Nisa. Alright, so let's see. Whenever it attacks, each opponent discards a card, right? So it does not matter where. <laughs> you fell for Axia. I'm gonna do this again. No moss with Dread Knight for you. I don't actually want the temporary lockdown. Like, oh, I don't actually care about the temporary lockdown locking the uh, moss with Dread Knight. It's really just about the Falcon giving him a car. I'm gonna attack first. Scar that one card. It's a cut down. Sweet. I think I can turn it face up anytime, right? Turn it face up. Uh, turn it face up anytime for his disguise cost, yeah. So I'm gonna enter. That's a land. Good game. I mean, he's already dead, anyways. But uh, I didn't get my greedy combo to work. Just the. Uh, uh, okay, someone's, someone asked me to say this, so Aklazaz got him anyways. Alcatraz. Alright, our opponent is the Pleterus. There's plenty of Pleterus around. <laughs> Alright, opponent goes first. We have a cut down. That's, that's all. Well, we have a cut down and go for the throw, but they do go first, and we have a lot of tap land. So uh, all we can do is hope that they're not crazy fast. Probably are. Mountain. Swiss sphere. Crazy fast it is. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna be playing from behind a lot, so I think I'm just gonna cut down the Swiss Sphere, right? If he pumps the Swiss Sphere, then I'm just dead. No. Gotta learn to be patient. All right, Fugitive. So I can cut the Swiss Sphere down or I can cut the Fugitive down? The Fugitive is two, so... It saves me a little bit of damage. Maybe I'll draw untapped land. On the off chance, I draw an untapped land. I do! Wow! I am so good at this game. Another Cold Breaker? I got a surprise for you. We just played a Falcon? Um, it is a 2-2 with Ward, right? So if they play with Fire, it if they need 3 mana. It, it seems like they don't have 3 mana. They're gonna draw it. Yeah, there it is. Forge. Okay. That's interesting. Virtue this. Slightly. Slightly? Slowly gaining life. But, um. Pretty scary what this deck is doing to me. Uh, I'm already at. Well, it's not the, uh, the me being at 15 that's the problem. It is the uh, forge, right? So. Alright, there's a the play with fire. I guess he was really scared of that car for some reason. I have five. Definitely can throw away the greed right now. Maybe I'll get a tap land. Uh, not throw away the play the greed and throw away the temporary lockdown. I don't think the lockdown is going to hit much against this deck. So, let's get greedy. Discard a lockdown. I'm gonna lose two life and sack a back. Yeah, pretty, pretty scary where this is going. But uh, I can't take out a forge. That's three mana. Godric. Godric's interesting. So I'm gonna attack with Godric. Maybe he has a buff spell. Does he forget that these bats can fly? I, I mean, he might have forgotten. Kumano? Alright. I'm gonna take four next turn returns. Or do I take four? I don't think I take four, right? So I'm gonna draw three cards. So that's uh no. How many how many cards am I drawing? One card. Right. It could be a cut down. This is gonna be a four-one. Uh I already played a cut down. There's only two in the deck. So what are the odds? So the choices... Alright, the choices are... Gotta, gotta, gotta think. The choices are, do I play Rafink's Tower? That way I can play Virtue next turn. Or do I play a Planks? Uh, this is five mana. I'll keep up a black. I might be able to draw a cut down. You know what? I'm not playing to my outs here. I'm just gonna... Draw cut down anyways. Alright. So I'm just gonna do the thing. That's a 4-1. I can block with the Falcon. My Falcon's not attacking, so... I'm definitely blocking here. Play it or discard it? There's another gambit. Now, I'm gonna take five next turn if I just play Virtue. Actually, no, I take seven next turn. And if he top sec five more damage, I think I just die, right? So, that's a little bit scary. 
But I already lost two Falcons. There's not that much, not that good of a chance for me to get more Falcon. Uh, I need to get a March, which I don't have a lot in the deck. Can I actually bring anything out? These are not first strikers, so uh, I don't know how much of that is going to help. But I do need to play it, so. SCP top deck's 5 damage. It's not that hard to top deck 5 damage for that deck, so. I am very close to dead here because of that. He's thinking about it, which means it's a play. If it's a land, he would have played it already. Slick shot. Okay. Well, he has to sack one of those creatures. Uh, if he puts out on the stack the right way, he might have sacked the 5-1. Yeah. Alright, so... Do I want a Falcon? So 1-4. That's the most amount of damage it can um, mitigate. Whereas in... Godric, I can't pump. Alright, that's slightly okay. You can temporary lockdown to lock these two cards out. It doesn't lock anything else out, so yeah. I'll play another tap land. We'll end the turn. Draws a land. Donjo this. I'm at four. It is so scary right now. Uh, I can get a, another Falcon. That's going to mitigate a lot of damage, right? None of these are first strikes, so I can get Godric and just attack him with that. Turn face up. None of these turns face up. Ooh! Uh, that, that's no, that's a card. Not gonna attack with the Falcon. That's a very bad idea. Gotta do something. Can't kill the Forge. Uh, I can't kill the Forge, so uh, it is doing a lot to me. But. Is it a pump spell? Is it a burn spell? It's, he's holding up something. Ah, mono red. Never change your degenerate ways. Has to play it. Lightning strike. It's both my turn. Alright, let me give back my falcon. Another temporary lockdown isn't very useful, but I can gain four life on this. And I draw a car. And he dies a lot faster because of that, so that's okay for me. I'll drop the anchorage. Oh man, good thing I played a virtue, or I would not be able to win this game. That's eight damage. I still have go for the throw, so. He can kill both Falcon now. Monsters rage, you say? What happened if you don't have a card left? Haha! <laughs> Take that! Stupid mono red. My falcon is greedy, but it's still better than you. Alright, our opponent is Burby91. Finally, a name I can pronounce. Burby? Hey, Burby, I get to go first. Uh, tap land, tap land, but you know, going first is always good. Wanna say hi? Oh, he's still mulliganing. Too, too fast to say hi. Hopeless Nightmare turn one. Uh, go for the throw, maybe turn two. If you lost, maybe turn two. Uh, we, we'll see. So, actually, no. That's not Hopeless Nightmare turn one. This is, is going to be tapped. So, nothing turn one. Maybe Hopeless Nightmare turn two. Maybe get lost. Maybe go for the throw turn two. Right? There's a lot of turn two plays I could do. Uh, if I ever get to play. Come on. Horsey? He's already eating that apple. Now we'll say hi. 
but I don't like this flare. It took an hour for Mulligan. Just to play a mountain? Just to play a swamp? Okay, well... First, I'm gonna give you a nightmare. March. Okay. Vladimir. Now, more nightmares. Spots a swamp. Gigs. I will go for his throw. Ooh, a gambit. That's kind of tricky, right? Because I do want to play my Falcon, but then Gix is going to draw a car. So, we'll just let it go, and maybe I'll draw a land eventually. Cavrak? Ooh, I want to kill both of those so bad, but I can't. Oh, it doesn't seem like he has a car, so we'll kill, the, uh, kill that. You can use his map token if he wants. Draw the swamp. I draw a land. Now I need my greedy gambit to hit another land. But then I also need to get rid of the cavrack. So yeah, there's a lot of things I need to do this turn, huh? Uh what can he do? He doesn't have anything in the graveyard that's that scary. So I'm gonna gambit greedily. Now I gotta discard a car, right? Three steps ahead is... I can't discard the land for sure. Three steps ahead is good, but it's going to take a while to actually trigger. He's probably going to have a lot of removal. Wow. What does this say? Two and pay two life. Well, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, two and pay two life is a lot. Let's disguise it. I have a blue, right? I do have a blue. Turn face up. You can have all my hopeless nightmares. You're kind of hopeless. Good luck. He's probably gonna do some crime, but he has a discard and sack and for mono black. Really not much he can do uh, to get rid of the green gambit. Do I block? Do I take the four? I'll take the four. S uh, sack the uh, Al Alcatraz. I know what I said. Alright, he's gonna return, but you know, it's gonna take a while for him to get there. I do want to kill the Gisa, so maybe I do that first. Go for the throw is a good kill on the Gisa. I gotta pay two life, but I think that's fine. Before we can crime it. You can also attack to get back a hopeless nightmare. My nightmare? Okay, GG, he's locked out and the greed's gonna lock him out for way longer. So yeah, that's what you get for having nightmares. Welcome back everyone. Now that you've seen all those games, how did you feel? I gotta say, I, I've i only recorded four games today. I've won all four. Not to say that this will definitely give you a 100% win rate, but it feels hella good today. And we, we were not always on the play. There's a few games we were on the draw and we were still able to answer most of our opponent's plays. Why? Because a lot of the current standard is aggressive. Grease Gambit really shuts that down, right? If they're too aggressive, Temporary Lockdown just shuts those down. But if they're mid 
aggressive or they're not getting the right draws what happened is that Grease Gambit gets us the card draws we need and the life gain we need to sustain for another turn and then when we cover that Falcon to give them the Grease Gambit well now the shoes on the other foot uh, they're on the back foot they are behind they have to sack and discard well we get to build up our mana base build up our cards and we have a three step ahead to counter the next turn if they want to do something to stop the Grease Gambit. Otherwise, we're just going to kill their creatures and, you know, sustain long enough for uh, Aklas Ass to win our game. Uh, against that mono red, I cannot believe it, but uh, MVP of that game was Virtue of Persistence. And we just keep bringing back the Coveted Falcon. I couldn't get my March to kill the. Uh, the, the Forge, but just the Virtual Persistence. Keep bringing back the Covenant Falcon. That's a 1-4. Infinitely block all his stuff, and then eventually he just uh, died to the damage dealt by Green Gambit, right? Don't forget, Green Gambit deals 2 damage every turn. So, uh, it's not just a discard. They're gonna keep losing life and sacking creatures. So they cannot build a board, and if they cannot get rid of Green Gambit, they will just, you know, eventually die. Alright, so that's really all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.